Well, there's a bork on the loose. Must be haying season, right? I will say one thing for Mr. Bork though, he, he's he got that old gel baler tuned right in. He makes some nice tight bales. They do look good. Well, I'm not gonna lie, hay crop is not the best this year. It just got so darn dry, it stunted all this stuff. Up in here, it's good quality hay, but you can see that windrow should be three times its size. I should have trouble stepping over it and I can easily step over it, but what are you gonna do if mother nature decides you're not gonna get rain? That's pretty much the boat you're in. Like down in here where I'm walking right now, normally you can't even drive down here. It's just too soft. There's even standing water and he hayed right through here. There's not, look at the ground. See, it's, it's dusty. I've never seen it this low in here. I mean, up in here, they get better. You look at like, you start getting into these big clumps right here. That's what the whole windrow should be, at least this high all the way through, but this is the newest seating over here. So it stands to reason that it's, it's gonna do the best, but not great out here by any means this year. So Mr. Bork got a new drone and crashed it yesterday literally on my backfield. I was all like, don't you think you should be out in the wide open to kind of get the feel of things? And he was all like, what do you think, I'm an idiot? And about five minutes later, I was like, yep. Tying a bale. We got to see it lay an egg. Maybe we should show Mr. Bork what right and proper drone flying looks like, huh?
Well, that's gonna about do it for everything he had cut down. Looking around here at the bales, we're probably 50% this year of what we normally have. So it's down, but love the smell of fresh hay. It's hard to beat that this time of year. One of the nice parts about living around here when it's not frozen, right? So, oh, another thing, just walking the field out here, I found another rock for the ring. Bullseye. Thanks for watching, everybody.